Hello, folks. Today we're going to be talking about <clears throat> cells and cell structures. So, specifically, today we're going to be talking about um, the cell structures of an onion root cell. So, let's go ahead. All right, let's go to our PowerPoint real quick. So, here is an image of our onion cell. Mine didn't stain quite that nicely, but that's all right. Anyways, the features that you're gonna be looking for on this onion cell are the cell walls. They will appear as these thick, dark lines separating the cells. The cytoplasm will be the empty space on the inside of the cell. It's not empty, of course, just like the air in the room that you're in isn't empty space. Anyways. There should be a large, a single large round structure on the inside of the cell. It'll be the only internal structure visible on these onion cells, and that is going to be the nucleus. You will also have a cell membrane on the inside of your cell wall. That is because all organisms have a cell membrane. And I'm putting extra emphasis on that because if you're taking notes, maybe you should write that down. That's an important one. Okay, so let's jump on over to our real life view of our onion cells. <clears throat> Again, mine didn't stand up quite as nice as the ones in the pictures. That's all right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, increase brightness. Okay. So what you're seeing here is your onion cell. And this dark structure with a little bit of grainy stuff on the inside is your nucleus. That is the only feature you need to be able to distinguish this uh, this organism as a eukaryotic organism. Additionally, you can see that these uh, cells are arranged together forming a tissue of some sort. That's another thing that only eukaryotes are gonna do. Now, you can see as I focus through these cells, the little lines surrounding them change ever so slightly. That's because they aren't perfectly rectangular. But these lines that you see, those are the cell walls. We can't really see the cell membranes uh, for this particular specimen, but we would know that they're going to be on the inside of each of these cells. So think of it as a water balloon on the inside of a cardboard shoebox, if that makes any sense. And lastly, the only feature we haven't discussed yet, all of this empty space surrounding our nucleus is going to be cytoplasm. So another interesting thing to note here is that, so you might have heard me mention this is an onion cell. Well, onions are plants, right? Where are the chloroplasts? Well, the thing is that it's not that onion plants don't have chloroplasts, but Plants don't have chloroplasts in their roots, just like we don't have solar panels in our basements. So, in your drawing for this one, I'm going to want uh, some sort of little rectangle. Make sure you label the cell wall, the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, and lastly, the nucleus. You only have to draw one cell. Don't worry about drawing a whole matrix of cells, okay? Sound good? If you have any questions, do not hesitate to send an email to your designated lab instructor.